Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to refilm my Child of the 80s Project Pan update. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab. And yeah, I filmed this update already and I looked at the footage and I wasn't happy with it. So I have decided to refilm. And this is where I am. This is the second time that I've done this where I've had to refilm. But basically, I'm just going to be real with you. I did a I did an uh, 80s inspired look and it ended up looking so atrocious on camera like when I actually reviewed the footage that I just couldn't post it. It just looked like the worst I've ever looked so <laughs> um, I think I might put a little clip of it because one of the items I'm going to be talking about I no longer have because it isn't empty and I feel my empty is so it's actually from my last empties video so you might have already seen it but it is basically my concealer so spoiler alert but yeah I'll put a little a still or something like that and you can see the atrocity the atrocity of what my makeup was that day but anyway I was trying to do like a Madonna inspired 80s look so I googled it and I just I thought when I did it I was like oh yeah I really like I've really captured the essence of it and then when I when I was going to edit the edit the video I just was very upset so um yeah I already like re-rolled a new item I've already worked on a few of these items since I filmed that but um I'm just going to do my update because obviously you guys need to know what's going on um so let's start I'll start just with like the order of what I have written down but um, in March, um, number uh, 16 was, what is this, what is this? It's What's Love's Got To Do With It by Whitney Houston, and it is your average product. So I picked the Rimmel Match Perfection Boost Powder. This one, um, I was disappointed in, in the progress. So I have used this 13 times, and I haven't done new line, but it's just underneath the last line that I had. So I really didn't see a lot of progress in between updates, and I was pretty upset by that. But I also know that there was quite a lot of product just um, like where the net is, I guess, and I had used quite a bit of that. So I think that's why you don't see as much progress this month as you would the previous months. But yeah, um, I used that 13 times. I'm really desperate to get rid of this. I think I can do it in another few months. So super happy and excited about that one just to be done. So we'll see what it looks like next update. The next item that I have is a primer. So this is from the prompt number 38, which is the Walkman. So it's an item that you've purchased over and over again. I haven't purchased this primer over and over again, but I have purchased primers over and over again. So I sort of took the category of that item and I picked the Prep and Perfect Brightening Primer with Banana Extract from Primark. And I really like this. I think it's really lovely. I'll just do a little swatch actually because I don't think I've ever done this but it looks like that and then if you just go doo -doo -doo -doo, it is illuminating but it does end up shearing out and it ends up looking really quite lovely on the skin so I've been really really enjoying that it also smells like banana so it's quite nice like that um this one I used nine times in March so um I think that just from memory, I don't think I said I was going to finish this one. It was a usage goal, but I do want to keep it in for another month. So I'm going to try to hit 20 uses on it and try to push myself this next month to use it a little bit more to try to get that 20-ish mark and then I will roll it out. Next one is my lip crayon. So this is for the prompt 18, which is Indiana Jones, and it's from an indie brand. So this one is from the beauty crop it's the smoothie stick lip crayon and it's in this beautiful color this is saucy masala love that name <laughs> and it looks like that I'll put a picture of what it looked like last month I've used this seven times so not a huge amount of progress on this one I think it's gone down slightly um really love this color but there's so much product and I honestly don't end up reapplying too much so I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this I know I put it in to complete but because there's such little progress and I'm not using as much I might have to do a usage goal on it as well I'm going to keep it in another month see how many times I can use it and see what it looks like but I may have to just roll it out to just keep this a little bit more fresh for me and then number 42 was the concealer so it was the 
um, what was the concealer? I don't even remember what the concealer, it was the e.l.f. Hi hydrating concealer. So I'll put a picture of um, the other video of, of what it looked like when I was showing you or what I, and then you can kind of maybe see what I ended up looking like and then you can laugh at me, so that'd be great. So that one I used 12 times and then I called it done because it was so, so empty. I talk about it in my empties video, so go check that out if you want to see what it really looks like. Um, but because I finished that one, I am, well, I already have rolled in a new item, which I will talk about. Um, but let me just get through everything else first. Number two was for the prompt Ruby's Cube. So this is something colorful. And um, just so you know, number the concealer was for number 42, which is for another one bites of dust. So it's a, an item that is almost done. So that one was perfect because I finished it. So that's a good one. But yeah, number two, uh, the Ruby's Cube, something colorful. I rolled in an eyeshadow palette. So I rolled in the BH Cosmetics Summer in St. Tropez. And I had never used this before, so it was brand new when I rolled it in. There was not even any swatches on it. Or maybe I swatched maybe one, I, one of them, and then that was it. So yeah, you can see what it looked like last time. Um, my goal was to use the palette 10 times and use every single shade at least once. I have used the palette seven times so far. I haven't used every single shade yet, but I have used quite a bit. So this is what it's looking like now. You can see there's really not too much change other than just I've gone in with my finger on these shimmers, but honestly, you can't really see any other difference. All the stuff, there's a little bit of disturbance here, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it. So, um, sand I used three times, crepe I haven't used yet, exotic I used twice, coastline I used twice. This is a really interesting shade, I like it. Um, marina I used four times, I think that's the one I've used the most. So, really beautiful. A pink bright in a corner shade cabana I've used uh, twice beach club I've used once super super yacht I haven't used yet uh, paradise I also haven't used that one yet villa I've used three times pampaloni pampalone I've used twice which is surprising to me because I didn't think I would but I've used that twice they I haven't used yet Intoxicating I've used once, Nightlife I've used once, Jet Set I haven't used yet, and Sizzle I've used once. So you can see I need to use this one, this one, this one, and this one, but obviously all the rest as well this next month. Really love this palette. So when I rolled it in, I sort of dissed it a little bit because I was like, I don't think I like it, blah, 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 but I actually really like it. I had to stop myself from using it too much. Um, I could have definitely used it 10 or more times if I hadn't stopped myself because I was reaching it for a full week straight and I was like oh no wait let me stop let me let me wear something else so that one I do really like okay next up is number 13 which is do 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 it's something neon so it's the neon and then you pick something neon and this is a blush and it's not neon <laughs> when I rolled it in I was like you know I was trying to convince myself that it was kind of neon it's really not it is more pastel pink um, but it is my Circa blush in the shade Hungley Bay, and it looks like this right now. I have used it since my update, so it might have might have changed slightly. But yeah, that's and then I'll show you what it looked like last time. But the pan has expanded. I've only used it five times though, so I do need to use it more. But I would like to finish this one because it's one of my oldest blushes, and yeah, really need to get through it so I can make room for or I can use up my other newer blushes because I'm got too many blushes but yeah this one is looking like that and I'll just try and use it a little bit more okay next up is my Colourpop Manifest that highlighter so this one is for the prompt 58 whip it so this is something that is whipped or has like a creamy texture and I picked this because it is their super shock uh, shadow or like super shock formula <laughs> something like that so this is what it looks like now and um, so I don't, I don't recall what it looks like on the picture from last month, but I do think I've expanded a little bit down here. And yeah, it just looks like I've used it a little bit more. So this one I have used 12 times this month. So definitely have tried to use it a little bit more. And I still really like it. It's nice. I just, you know, I know that the formula has gone a little bit different. So I just want to finish it up. But 
beautiful icy uh, highlighter. I really do enjoy it. Um, number 63 is my e.l.f. Calm Balm Lip Balm, which is in my bedroom, and I am a little bit too lazy to go get it. So I will put a photo of what it looks like versus like last month in the um, where the line is. So this one I have used eight times. Um, I've really stopped using it as much as I did before, but if I could push myself, I could probably finish it what, in a couple months, maybe three months. Um, yeah, I just need to remind myself to, to use it. That's why it's in my bedroom. And, I, and if I know if I take it out of my bedroom and then I film with it, it might not get back in my bedroom for like another five days. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so uh, just trust me on that one. Okay, so the item that I am rolling in to replace the concealer, I've already rolled in. And it is for the number 57. So this is uh, from Ghostbusters and it's basically something like, like he slimed me, like that's the phrase. And it is a green item that you need to pick. So I was humming and ahhing of what I wanted to pick and I decided to roll in another eyeshadow palette because the summer in Saint-Tropez will be done soon. I only, you know, I've used it seven times. I only have three more uses and then that will be done. And I would like to keep an eyeshadow palette in, you know, in the in-between updates. So I've decided to roll in my Meant to Be palette. And this one, the reason I, that I, well, first of all, it's green and I really do enjoy it. I already have a pan in here too. But another reason that I want to roll it in is because I have quite a nice dip in this sh darker shade here. And I want to try and see if I can hit pan in that shade between updates or, you know, by the end of the time that I've used this 10 times, so we'll see. Yeah, so I'll, I'll use every single shade at least once, but if I can hit pan in this one, that would be great, and then obviously use the palette 10 times. So that is my goal for this. It would be really nice to have two pans in here. I find ColourPop um, really hard to pan, to be honest. This one took me probably 30 or 40 uses. <laughs> it was really hard, it was, it was hard. And it's a beautiful shade, but I got very, very sick of it. Um, but this one, I had it in my Pan Those Eyeshadows last year, and I feel like if I had pushed myself a little bit more, I could definitely have panned it. So, yeah, that is my goal. Yeah, I really hope that this video is going to be alright, and I'm not going to decide to scrap it and redo this whole thing again. Um, but, yeah, I'm enjoying this project as always. I've kind of given up on, like, I'll do an 80s look, because honestly, I can't. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Like, I've just... I tried to do it and it looked terrible, but maybe next time we'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to. I hope that you do. I would love to uh, continue growing the channel and uh, see new faces. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope everyone's well and I'll see you next time. Bye.